हाय मेरा नाम सौरव गांगुली है भूले तो नहीं दिस वन सेंटेंस वु टर्न द टाइड्स इन अर लॉन्ग बैटल a battle that had brought down a captain a legendary indian team and the hopes of an entire nation along with it this one sentence was about to change it all the funny thing is no one realized at that time the sheer impact this one sentence would have sadar didn't realize it nor did pepsi nor did the millions of people who watched it today we tell the story of the time dada was blackmailed into making an ad an ad that then went on to change his legacy what goes up must come down it seems to be the law of nature to reach the highest of highs and to go down to the lowest of lows question in the end becomes how low will you fall sitting in his living room in august of 2006 dada had a clear answer to this question how low will you fall lower than you ever believe you could captaincy taken away thrown out of the team told to play in domestic circles to prove his worth and all of this by a coach he himself had selected somebody who had assured him of complete support in india's quest to world glory one by one by one all his supporters in the board had either turned their backs to him or had been silenced a player who had dared to speak up for him had even been given a show clause notice followed by a gag order on the entire team and finally as if to drive the final nail in his grave when dada had used up all of his political capital to get a place in the team for pakistan he was thrown out again in spite of a respectable performance the message was clear he was done it didn't matter what he did or how well he performed quoting one of the selectors as long as we sit here ganguly is not coming back this was the end of the road all avenues shut all hopes lost even the public outcry that had greeted his initial outstir even that seemed to have lost steam now the writing was on the wall he was done and that is when he got a call from the boss of the indian division of pepsi pepsi which had originally entered the indian market in 1989 had till this point managed to secure a stranglehold on the indian market by following a simple strategy cricket supported by bollywood starting from nothing official about it to dil mange more to the ever iconic oye babli oye oye babli pepsi seemed to have a mitas touch when it came to advertising finding the right idea for the right ad at the right time on and on it went year after year even a year back when dada was thrown out pepsi was quick to switch its strategy replacing ganguly as their face with the new captain dravid in spite of being called backstabbers by dada supporters and opportunistic by others dravid was quickly accepted by scores of indian fans ensuring that pepsi's sales kept on going strong so in short pepsi like the rest of the world had seen to move on from dada so it was nothing short of a gigantic surprise when they called up dada with an idea for an advertisement him sitting in an empty stadium talking about what had happened in their words they hadn't seen a bigger public outcry over the exclusion of a player and now with dada's chances of a comeback looking increasingly dim why not go to the people let's make our case to them let's win their support after all what other option did dada have in response to this golden opportunity his only opportunity dada said no absolutely not He didn't want all that melodrama. He didn't want to sit there and utter those lines, but most importantly, he didn't want to earn the public sympathy that way. It didn't matter whether he actually believed in those lines or not. It just wasn't him. And so, the olive branch was refused, shutting doors on what may be his last chance for a comeback. But Pepsi had other plans. Just a few weeks back, a report had come out accusing them and Coca-Cola of having excessive pesticides in their drinks. Now, this wasn't the first time this had happened. The same accusations had cropped up 3 years back, which finally had amounted to absolutely nothing. So, naturally, both the companies decided to ignore those reports completely, and that proved to be catastrophic. 
within days both the drinks were banned from multiple states politicians and media were out for their blood profits had taken a steep dive pepsi was in crisis now being an international company they wouldn't shut down over this but the loss of profit it would make sure that at least the entire indian wing would be sacked they had to do something fast something when nothing seemed to be working and so in a hail mary move the marketing department came up with a gamble put dada on the forefront let him tell his story and try to get some collateral sympathy that way <laughs> now this was a risk it may come off as cheap emotional manipulation resulting in a marketing debacle that would surely sink whatever was left of their public image so this was nothing short of a gamble and dada would have to come along with it whether he wanted to or not a few days after the call dada was given a legal notice he was under contract with pepsi till 2007 and as long as the ad did not tarnish his image as a brand he would have no say in the content of the script in other words either relent and help us help you or after struggling with this decision for a few days dada relented and so came this iconic moment hi mera naam saurav ganguli hai bhule to nahi jo hua kyun hua कैसे हुआ ये सब सोच के दुख भी होता था गुस्सा भी आता द थिंग इज आफ्टर द रिलीज ऑफ द एड इनिशियली नथिंग सीम टू हैव चेंज मच दादा वॉज एंट री इंस्टेटेड इन अ डे नॉट इट द कोच लूज हिज जॉब बट अंडर द वीव्स अन बिलोंग्स टू एनी वन टू थिंग्स हैपन्ड नंबर वन ऑल दोज नीसियर्स डिट्रैक्टर्स एंड क्रिटिक्स हु इन स्पाइट ऑफ दादाज फॉल स्टिल सीम टू बी आउट फॉर हिज ब्लड ऑल ऑफ दैम suddenly fell silent and secondly the fires of public outrage that had simmered down in the past one year they woke back to life they didn't shout it out like earlier though this fire was more like a seething volcano burning at its core waiting for the right moment and soon a opportunity would come knocking the indian team that had won trophy after trophy after trophy in the past one year suddenly went into a tailspin first getting knocked out of the DLF cup by australia followed by a shameful group stage exit in champions trophy at home and finally standing on the verge of an odi whitewash in south africa the entire team together seemed to have forgotten how to play cricket all of a sudden and as if that wasn't enough the coach who seemed to have taken the dictum of divide and rule at his heart decided to get into a verbal battle with the indian parliament and that's that's to them they're entitled to make any comment they like that's what they paid to do in parliament yes the indian coach was fighting with indian ministers while his team was getting flamed by the media but the majority view amongst parliamentarians and i'm sure across the country is this is it time for greg chapel to shut his mouth up and act responsibly and that is when the ad showed its effect the seething volcano that it had created erupted suddenly each and every media outlet each and every public discussion even those debates in parliament started revolving around one name what was originally a jinx standing in the way of india's progress he now had become the only hope for indian cricket bcci now taking flag from each and every possible angle <laughs> relented on a cold november morning as ganguly walked up to the net practice session in south africa the war seemed to have reached a full circle the coach and the captain back at the starting mark the difference being dada after a long while was an underdog again hungry enough to tear his opponent apart and so it went he first scored 51 not out on a low scoring track on his very first test laying the bedrock for the first indian test win in south africa and even though we went on to lose that series dada had been the top scorer for india this got him an entry into the odi team where in his comeback match he scored 98 runs that year in 2007 as india would get knocked out of the world cup in the group stage itself resulting in a prompt firing of the coach dada would go on to have a form of his life 
he would be ranked second in the most runs scored in test that year and fifth in ODI. Jumping a total of 27 spots in ODI and 26 spots in tests. Somebody who had been written off as a vestige of a bygone era had somehow fought his way back to the top of world cricket. Somebody whose legacy was to end as a disgraced, selfish captain. He somehow retired as an avenger, showing his worth, proving his retractors wrong and humiliating the coach. An avenger whose part to redemption began with a single sentence uttered unwillingly in an ad to sell sodas. Thank you for watching this video. I genuinely hope that you have a good day. Thank you.